Welcome back to the show, everybody. We are very excited because mm -hmm. what's better than chocolate on Nothing. a Friday? Nothing. We are so excited to have Patrick Kay. He's the owner of Everything Chocolate Cafe in Newmarket. Welcome to the show, Patrick. Thank you, guys. Nice being here. You Pleasure. have brought all kinds of different chocolates from all around the world, including what Jeff called a spicy chocolate. Yes. Yeah, we do a, we do a spicy hot chocolate. There, it comes in bar, but yeah. chocolate originally with the Mayans, and it was a drink. It was a frothy, bitter drink. Really? Uh, so we do our own version of what uh, we call a spicy hot chocolate. Okay. We're going to make that today. I brought down with me, it's, it's a unit called a froth au lait. Froth and au what lait. that does is it, it heats and froths your milk. Now at the store, I've got a big machine that lets me froth that machine <laughs> really quickly. That degree, so yeah. we're going to do things a little bit different so more people can, if you want to do it at home, this is the way we do it. All right. We're also going to do a uh, chocolate shot today, which is my version of like, a chocolate espresso. I oh. like shots. It's a concentrated Pat. chocolate, just like in the days when you're a child and you used to melt the chocolate in your mouth yeah. and you let it melt and you, and you just swallow it. Yeah. And that's what we do. So what we're okay. going to do with that one, we're going to let this come to the boil a little bit. At okay. the same time, I'll do, I'll turn this on. The, so the froth au lait. Froth au lait, yeah. <laughs> this I is a, this. It's a home frother. Now I'm using 1% milk, so we're just going to add some okay. of that into here. Is 1% standard, or do, would some people mm. even use Well, some people cream now, because they're watching, like I use cream for my yeah. Turn, right? shot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it froths a little nicer, and a lot of people, if they're, if they're okay. watching the fat content, then they want to sort of Then they can still yeah. use, use the 1%. Milk. Yeah, a little okay. bit more. Let's get a bit more. This is great. So in the store, people can come in and try the spice talk chocolate themselves. Yeah, and the, and the shots, and we do a milk Everything. chocolate, we do a dark chocolate. Now our chocolate is actually made from real chocolate, yeah. and we do our own blends. What does that mean when you say real chocolate? Yeah. Is there fake chocolate? Well, there's artificial you know there's chocolate compounds, but a lot of uh, uh, places we use syrups, which is sugar and water. Uh, a lot of people use a chocolate compound, which is uh, sugar and oil. Okay. Uh, oh, this is okay. actually real. You can even try this. Can I try? This is a 70%. 70%? Percent. And they're microchips. Okay, this is the foundation of my chocolate. Yeah. So that's what mm. we start with. I add my spices, I add my cocoa to get my own Yum. blend. To mm. get the taste that we want to have. And so dark, dark is best. Dark is best. Dark is always best. And healthy. And it's better for you. Aphrodisiac, what else you need? Antidepressant, <laughs> mm -hmm. cough suppressant. Mm -hmm. So we're going to um, add some. So why are you doing this? I just, I'm curious. What led you to opening up a chocolate cafe? Was, was it a love of chocolate? I mean, exactly. how did that happen? Um, we traveled a lot, and what I found is when we were going around and you're, you're tasting different chocolates around the world, I was coming back and I, I, I couldn't find the same. We had a lot of candy here. Mm. And I felt that maybe other people had the same passion. So what I try to do is I introduce chocolate from around the world to different people. We've got different bars that we bring over. Uh, the newest one we just got in is the Fearless. It's a raw organic chocolate out of uh, uh, San Francisco. Okay. okay. Uh, he's a single uh, origin bean to bar maker, which is like a small micro processor. So they're, what, uh, what does that mean when it's a raw form of chocolate? They're not processed. They, they process the chocolate at a very low temperature, so it keeps okay. the integrity of the chocolate to uh, the better health benefit for it. It's healthier uh, for everybody. Can I make a comparison to chocolate and wine? There, there's so many different variables and, and things that make it good or bad, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, it's the type of bean that they're using uh, and how they handle that chocolate. The more things that are in it, let me turn it down a little bit, mm -hmm. the, um, the less room there is for things to go bad. So if, if your first ingredient is cocoa liqueur and cocoa butter, yep. yeah. and that's like say 70 or 75 percent, you've got less room for sugars and fats and, and anything Which else. Which is what we, we don't want that stuff. No. Okay. So, so now that our water uh, has boiled. A little more cream in here. So we got a little cream We've got going. some cream. Are we steaming the cream right now? Or what we yeah, we're going to bring that just to a little bit of a warm temperature. And then I'm going to add my... Uh, this up. Add your chocolate chips. This is my dark here, so I'm going to... If you want to add that in, yeah. just how much? A tablespoon? How much you like it? Uh, put about good, maybe yeah. three or four in it. Oh, oh okay. I will not hold we back. We like Patrick. it chocolatey. I thought we were doing one, but three or four. When is people good. come into your store, everything chocolate. What can they? What can they sample or try? Or they can pretty well try anything they like. Yeah. Because my, I like to encourage people. You want to give that a whisper? We're just going to yeah. stir that gently. Okay. And basically, what this is really is a ganache. It's a, chom a combination of chocolate and cream. Oh look, okay. it's melting right away. Yeah, so does ganache, ganache mean flourless? Is that right, Patrick? I'm sorry? Does ganache mean flourless? No, ganache is just it's just a, a type of, of, of manipulating the chocolate. So it's okay. equal parts of chocolate look at and that. usually 35% cream. You know okay. it's real because it melts so quickly. And the melting when point of chocolate fake will chocolate melt in your hands. Yeah, exactly. Look at that. Let's add some of this. All right, what do you need here? Spicy. You need these cups, espresso shots? Yeah, we, we need the espresso shots. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about that. 
Oh. See, uh, Jeff should maybe replace his morning coffee with a morning shot of chocolate. If, if with the antioxidants? Buzz, it would be better for him, yeah. Patrick. So um, how are we doing there? We're Patrick, while we're doing this, from what I understand, your place has become a bit of a hub. Uh, all kinds of things taking place, including a couple chocolate samplings coming mm -hmm. up very soon, right? Yeah, we do chocolate samplings on a regular basis, and it gives people the opportunity to come out, try different chocolates to taste what they like, to experience, maybe they haven't had a chance to sort of see what a... I don't like dark chocolate. I don't like milk yeah. chocolate. Right, right. So this this gives them that opportunity to sort of say, hey, you know what? I uh, I like it. I can yeah. experience different things. Uh, it's it's fun to share it with your friends too. And we're finding more and more people now are doing chocolate at home as opposed to a heavy dessert mm. after a meal because it becomes uh, socially interactive as well. Of course. You can share it. You can taste it. Let's spin our little towel up here. So we'll use a little chocolate shot, guys. Here. Oh, okay. Let's try it. So you know what the best part about chocolate shot? You don't wake up in a hangover, right? Ah, oh, oh, very go. good. Let's just okay. pour some of that into there, so you can see it's really oh, just like that. this, nice and thick. Thank you, Patrick. So right that there, I'm gonna add a little bit of chocolate pearls on top of that. If people are watching right now and they want to come out to everything chocolate, what do you need? Some of this right here right. and experience what you have to offer. Where do they find you? Where are you located? We're in Newmarket in the Newmarket Plaza at uh, 130 Davis Drive. Just add some nice little more chocolate curls. And you're on open. There. We're open seven days a week. Seven days a week, so uh, people can stop by and hang out and try sample. Cheers, my friend. Chin chin. Here we go. Everything chocolate. Mm. Well, it's very oh chocolatey. Gosh. It's good. Isn't that good. Very rich. The flavor of this chocolate is beautiful. That's our own blend that we do. Uh, we put together our own uh, different spices. It's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you very much. So if people are watching and they want to come out and try mm -hmm. the same thing, have a little sample. You have chocolate everywhere. I'm, I'm not doubting that one bit. <laughs> Please visit the website, everythingchocolatecafe.com. And again, Newmarket Plaza in Newmarket. We'll be right back.